Yo, what is up everybody? Joshua Cass, we're back at you with another quick video tutorial. This one's going to be on how to get Voltage 2, any version of Voltage 2 to sync with your transport controls in Ableton Live and sync to the project BPM inside of Ableton Live. Now, before I jump in here, you can actually get all of this for free right now. Everything on screen is completely free right now. It's called Voltage 2 Nucleus. I'm gonna leave a link in the video description. Obviously, go check it out. For people who are like maybe a little bit intimidated by modular or they love modular and they want a virtual version, it's phenomenal. There's so much you can do. And the fact that you can get 22 modules for free is, is you know, why pass it up? Why not jump in and try this stuff out? So. What I have right now is an eight step sequencer triggering an oscillator, running through a filter and an envelope generator, then an amplifier and coming out. So if I press play on the eight step sequencer, really pleasant tones. You know, I can easily switch that up. Let's go gnarly. You know what I mean? Let's just go crazy. Just kidding. Um, so uh, this isn't a sound design tutorial. What I'm meant to show you is first of all, I hit play and pause with my space bar and you can see it up here in Ableton Live, but th it doesn't do anything here. And that's because I don't have it routed. It's actually super easy to do. You see, I have a transport kind of module right here. This is in all of the racks, this top part. What I need to do is take the play and put it on start pretty simple stuff and then stop and put it on stop now let's go ahead and hit my space bar hit stop boom perfect but let's say i'm trying to add to a track i've already got going like this filthy house kick i've got uh-oh there's a rate knob which has BPM. So if I cl double click right there, I can actually type in my BPM at 120. Uh, yeah, but what if I switch it now? Or what if I don't wanna have to deal with this? Or what if I'm using an arpeggiator? Like there are so many what ifs. The question is, why can't it just sync to my host DAW? Well, it can, and you use the sync divider to do it. I'm gonna just click add, I'm gonna drop it over here. This also is part of the free bundle you can grab using the link in the click, you know, click on the video description. <laughs> but uh, it's pretty much the same thing here. What we have is a sync out. If I go ahead and just delete this stop for a second, there, one of the transport controls is sync out. Well, I wanna sync the host BPM, so that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna go sync out to sync in, sync out to sync in, right? Let's see if that works. Oh, let me make sure, rehook up my stop button. Let's switch it here. Oh, we got nothing going on. So we've got an issue. We've synced it up, but we haven't told the step sequencer that we want to be synced. So we need to use the clock out. The clock inside of a modular system is the tempo. So it's your BPM. Okay. And we want to go clock out into this part. It says EXT clock, which means external clock. So we want to use an external clock to trigger the eight step sequencer. We also need to activate that. And if I actually, if I come in here, uh, we can actually pull down the translucency or the alpha of these wires. And you can actually see there's a, a button right here that says EXT. I wanna click that and turn that on. Now let's go ahead and play. Is that working? I can't tell, let's. I feel like it's a little bit offset. Hmm. So let's go ahead and take the play button if I click it, I actually have multiple outs. I'm gonna take the second one and put it to reset. There it is. So what I want to happen here, what's really going on, why did I need to route my play input to the reset button? Essentially that's 
like a re-trigger. If you think about a re-trigger, like in an LFO or an envelope, that's what we're doing here. Anytime I hit play or a play signal comes into the sync divider, I want it to start the eight step sequencer on its first beat. Does that make sense? I hope it does. It's pretty straightforward stuff. But now my rate isn't gonna work, but I can choose the rate over here. That's at a bar, we can really speed it up. Okay, you know, and everything else still works as it should be. And I just wanted to make this quick tutorial about it because when I first jumped in here, those were the first two things on my mind beyond making a sound. Uh, if you want, you can just kind of pause the video and follow this. If there's enough interest, I'll show you how to do this. Those were my kind of my first two questions. How do I get it to start and stop when I press the space bar? And how do I get it to sync to the rest of the project in my DAW? And that's how you do it. Like I said, everything we've used here is part of the free bundle. So if you're interested in grabbing it, checking it out and experimenting with the wonderful world of virtual analog uh, modular synthesis, this, then go check it out. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper here. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.